All right, guys. Today we are reviewing the Gear Top One Man Tent. So we're gonna set it up for you here. It's camouflage, by the way. It's made of some sort of nylon. So it comes in a nice, neat package right here. And I've set it up before this video to see how how it would go. And it, it fits nicely back into here. It's not like uh, like trying to get a sleeping bag back into its original sack. So first thing I did is here is the, the rain fly. Keeps all the rain out, camouflage. And then first we're gonna set up the the mesh part of it, the actual inner part of the tent. I get all the pieces. Oh, there it is. So we got our aluminum, our aluminum frame poles right here, and we got aluminum stakes right here. So they're pretty heavy-duty stakes. But, yeah. I will say one thing: the packaging on this stuff could be better. But you know, it's not that bad. So we're gonna take out our poles, and we're also gonna get our stakes out. And you wanna stake it first before you put the frame poles through. All right, Carter, can you come over and help me with this? Carter, can you? Okay. All right, guys, now we're gonna put the aluminum frame in here and it's really light so that's good for backpacking and everything I believe the, the tent's about I don't remember how many pounds it is but we'll tell you after the video we'll search it up and we'll tell you after the video or at the end of the video we will tell you so don't worry about that so this first part just goes right up through here Just like that. Okay, then it's got these on both sides, which is what you want to put right through, right through the bottom of this. And Carter, he's not very good with like outdoor stuff, so he just staked that fuck to the ground. So I have to take the stake out and get that. Here's, oh, we're gonna pause real fast while I get the stake out. All right, guys, now that we got this part set up, uh, we're going to stake this part in. Well, actually, no, we do not stake that part in. I'm going to put this other part through, and then we'll see what to do after that. So this is the tall part of the tent. That, and this is pretty easy to set up because you just go through this top part, and then the rest of it, clips onto the side right here, like this. You guys see that? Hey, Tinker. Sorry for the dog in the camera, but a little puppy. So, yeah, really nice and simple. It just goes around the outside of the tent. Tinker. And again, you get the put this little pin to the bottom side of the pole. It's kind of difficult, you gotta be careful. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I clip these and then do it. See if it gets me on. Alright. There we go with that. This side as well.
There we go. It's kind of a difficult right there, but it just keeps your stint nice and sturdy. It keeps your tent nice, nice and sturdy. So, yeah. there's that part. We got all of that worked. Okay. So now we're going to. I'm gonna stick this part out right underneath here. I made a mistake last time of putting sticking this out way out here. But there's a little uh, compartment once you put on the rain fly where you can put your boots or anything you don't want to get wet. It's not really important to you. Right there. So we're just gonna stick that in like that. There we go. Very good. It's a really good uh, nylon cordage that this comes with. So, we are now going to put the, the rain fly on. Uh, we're going to pause the video for a second but so I can get the rain fly ready. Alright guys, we are now going to put the rain fly on. This is the part that keeps it dry. The waterproof part, obviously. In the summertime, it's not going to rain. You can have this out just so you can feel the breeze and keep the mosquitoes out. It's really, really fine mesh. Mosquito mesh. So really enough to get through there. It's tough stuff too. This is like this is really really tough mesh. So yeah. So we're gonna put the top on now. Hey Carl, do you mind coming out here and helping me with this? Uh, you put them in the pile. Oh, there they are. I stick right over them. Guys, these are really good steaks. Really high quality. Well, I believe that they're aluminum steaks. But anyways, guys, they're really good. Tough. They're tougher than most, I'd say. So we're going to have to... You come close here. You can see you've got a buckle for each one of these. Can't really see simple. It. Problem you can, you can tighten it up if you need. But it's nice just having a mess underneath here to keep the airflow going. Instead of being in one of those single wall tents that doesn't have a mesh thing in there and you know they they just get really like moist and wet inside there because the condensation just goes right through here, basically. <laughs> Uh, that's on single wall tents, of course, but it is very nice having, you know, vents and stuff like that. There, there's a vent underneath here as well, and what's cool about this is there's a little place you can put, like, your boots. It's the place I was talking about that I staked wrong last time. So, yeah. You know, want to keep something dry in there, just put it in there. It's too big. Alright guys, come over here, there's a vent that goes up inside here, it has mesh on it, so don't worry, there's not going to get no mosquitoes in there, but that just keeps the airflow going, nice and good, it's got plenty of airflow, I mean, airflow in this thing is just 100%, and the company is made by, made by Gear Top, well, it'll run you about $80 on Amazon, it's, good thing is though, it's originally $120, so, link in description guys, yeah, yeah, link, link will be in the description, it's got tie-off points here if you want to tie it up. We didn't do that today because we don't really have anywhere to tie it up. And, yeah, anyway, if you just want to open up your tent a little bit more. But, come over here. Just unzip that. You can put your puppy in there if you want. Just kidding. But, yeah, I'll move that steak out of the way. There. Hey. But you can put your boots in there if you like. Really nice. Just add on to it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's about the dog. It's just, just, just 
little puppy right now. But... Oh my gosh. Pause the video. Alright guys, now we have the rain fly up. The tent is complete. So, this is what is in the inside. Alright guys, so that's the inside. Oops. So it has two zippers right here. So it's actually pretty roomy for a one person tent. This one. I can sit up in it if I go right here. This is a one person bivy, by the way, not just a tent, but it's a bivy. It's got a bathtub floor. So, Carl, if you want to come in here, if you want to hand me the camera. All right, guys, now that we are in the tent, you can see what it looks like. Very long. I am five foot eleven, so I can fit perfectly in here. So it is uh, seven feet long, I believe. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is the one man tent, baby, by Gear Top. It's got pockets in the inside. You know, put your phone, whatever. It's got good seal. If you guys can see that good ceiling right there. And guys, this, this would be an excellent tent for like stealth camping. It's got the camo pattern. Got uh, what kind of what kind of zippers this thing has? It's got Gear Top zippers. Or yeah, it says Gear Top on there. This they make their own zippers. They seem to be high quality. If you're worried about that, got two doors on each side. And Carter right now is undoing. She, yeah, you can put your shoes right in there. Very handy compartment of the tent. Bathtub floor keeps water out very nice if it's a heavy rain. And I believe the it's some sort of polyurethane coat, in, waterproof coat, inside the tent. But the seams are sealed. You're not going to have to, it's not like one of those tents that you buy it and you have to reseal it with seam seal or nothing like that. But, I have to say it's not the toughest tent in the world, world but, uh, you know, it's not weak either. So, that's the interior of the tent. Very comfortable. Even on this hot day. Carter, what temperature is it? Um, 76. Alright. Even on this hot day, I'm still feeling a pretty good breeze. Let's see how the vent's doing. Here's the vent. Yeah, I can feel a breeze right through there. See how little uh, glasses hanger for you hang your glasses on? Actually, it's set 682. Okay, it's 82. That's what I thought. So, we are done with the interior of the tent for now.